In this Wild Belly Canine Probiotic Review, I'm going to go through everything you need to know about this dog's digestive formula. Could this 7 second Spanish olive trick end your dog's digestive problems for good? Inside, the shocking reason behind smelly poops, itching and occasional allergy problems and why they could be warning signs for your dog's health. Hi, my name is Ross Parker and in this short special report I'm going to reveal a simple 7 second tweak to your dog's dinner routine that can virtually put an end to their diarrhea, vomiting and other messy digestive issues, help clear up their allergies, itchy skin, obsessive paw licking, room clearing gas and other unpleasant smells that discourage you from snuggling up with your loving dog. Restore a shiny healthy Westminster worthy coat that makes your pupper a pleasure to pet. Bring back the boundless energy, excitement and playfulness your dog had when you first brought them home and help maximise their number of healthy quality years so you can enjoy your dog for the longest amount of time possible. Now this doggy revitalizer has nothing to do with any toxic medication, smelly creams or expensive food brands. Instead this is something you can sprinkle onto any food for any breed of any age to almost instantly supercharge your dog's health at a cellular level. And here's the shocking part because while it's true that I spend my entire decade long career working alongside some of the sharpest veterinary experts in the entire world, the cream of the crop of animal specialists in places like New York, Frankfurt and Toronto, where the city's wealthiest elite would bring their pets, because of the medical miracles we know to perform. While all that's true, this isn't something I learnt in some hospital or research centre. In fact, while our team easily completed complex surgeries and removed extensive tumours on an almost weekly basis, when it came to finding a long-term fix for the chronic digestive and skin issues that plague so many dogs, even our team of world-class vets struggled to find a safe, healthy solution. And as ironic as this may sound, it wasn't until years after I retired from my active veterinary work when I had a chance to encounter with some unusually healthy stray dogs. On a small olive grove, less than 100 miles off the coast of the Mediterranean Sea, where I finally discovered the secret that's now helping thousands of pet owners fix their dogs' annoying skin and digestive issues fast. I call this discovery the wild factor. And the funny thing is, even though it was the most exciting discovery of my long veterinary career, I can't even take the credit for it, because the pack of wild super strays led me directly to this incredible health enhancer. It was all hidden on a small patch of the most nutrient-rich soil I've ever encountered, which was where these wild dogs intuitively buried their bones. Well, while I was in New York, I had one patient in particular who took a special liking to me. I can't really disclose his name, but let's just say he and his four buddies practically owned every building in Manhattan, so he was a big shot. Anyways, I was able to help rescue his beloved bull terrier, Simon, pretty much from the brink of death, even after several vets recommended we put him down, which is something the guy never forgot. I mean, it was like he was forever indebted to me, and we became close friends. And that's why, when I finally decided to hang up my white coat and retire, he was quick to invite me to come live with him in a small house located on an olive grove at one of his Spanish villas. As you can imagine, it was beautiful, just a hundred miles from the Mediterranean coast. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't go to Spain looking to solve one of the biggest health problems facing dogs in modern society. Instead, I went there to enjoy a well-deserved retirement, the peace and quiet of the Spanish countryside. But as fate would have it, it was here that the answers I was looking for for so long finally started to come to me. That's because, as you're about to see, a chance encounter with a friendly pack of stray dogs changed everything for me and ultimately led me to a profound discovery. You see, when I first arrived on the farm, I noticed the stray dogs right away. They looked incredibly healthy and well taken care of, 
so I mistakenly assumed they belonged to one of the farm workers. But the dogs remained behind when the workers went home for the weekend. They seemed harmless enough, and I love dogs. So I went to the local butcher and brought them back some bones. Plus, as a vet tech, I couldn't help but feel obligated to take a closer look at these dogs to ensure they were healthy and didn't need medical attention. So the bones came in handy. After earning their trust, I took a closer look at them. And I was shocked by what I found. Not only did these dogs not need any sort of medical care, but they were some of the healthiest dogs I've ever seen. Their coats were thick and shiny, their teeth clean and bright, even their ears, skin, nails and paws were completely healthy. It didn't make any sense. There wasn't a veterinarian within 200 miles. In fact, I doubt that any one of these dogs had ever been to a vet at all. Yet here they were, living outside, eating scraps, bones, small animals and whatever else they could find, and thriving. I spent the next several months observing the dogs. The more I watched them, the less it made sense. They were scavengers and hunters and lived almost exclusively off the land. But I continued buying them bones so I could get a closer look at them. I also scoured the research and reached out to colleagues to get their perspectives. I learned a lot in those few months, but the question remained. What was it that made the dogs I heard about in Toronto and other places around the world so unhealthy? While this ragtag group of stray dogs wandering aimlessly through my olive groves was the epitome of health, what was I missing? After all, I treated my fair share of stray dogs, and while many of them don't have the same problems, many purebred dogs do. They'd still present with massive skin infections and all kinds of other problems. The strays on my farm didn't have any of that, and I didn't know why. My hands up in the air and give up. Something strange happened. I was out in the olive grove one day collecting soil samples. You see, one part of the field producer, bigger, fattier, and more flavourful olives than any other part of the area. I wanted to see if there was some sort of difference in the soil, so I planned on taking samples and sending them to the lab. As I approached the trees, I noticed one of the dogs digging, and just as I was about to shoo him away, he pulled one of the large bones I'd given him from the dirt and ran off with it. As I got closer, I could see that there were several places where the dogs had been digging, and as I explored the area, I found more bones. Not wanting to disrupt the stash of bones, I filled the holes, collected my samples and sent them to the lab. When the reports came back, I couldn't believe my eyes. The soil was crawling with bacteria. Now I had always been aware of the importance of good bacteria, or what scientists call probiotics, when it comes to gut health, but I never gave it much thought when I was in practice, outside of the farm animals I worked with. But these bacterial spores were not your typical probiotic strains. We'd occasionally use probiotics in our clinics, but these were very different and appeared to grow only in the soil. I couldn't help but think I was onto something. After all, nobody trained these dogs to bury their bones in that particular soil. They didn't bury them anywhere else on the farm, only the soil swimming with bacteria. So I started digging into the research. Almost every bacteria species present in that soil has been shown to help strengthen the microbiome. And by burying their bones in the soil, those dogs were marinating them in what appeared to be the most potent gut health boosting bacteria on the planet. Different from anything I'd ever seen. So what do these stray farm dogs have that your dog doesn't? Well remember earlier when I told you how I took soil samples in my olive grove? Well it turns out the bacteria profile in that soil was a recipe for optimal gut health. In other words, because of their exposure to the soil, the wild factor in it, it was like those stray dogs were taking a daily probiotic. But not just any probiotic, but a powerful soil spore based probiotic. Something that's likely missing from not only your dog's diet, but the diet of millions of dogs worldwide. By giving them a powerful daily probiotic with their food, you can fortify their microbiome and boost their gut bacteria while transferring their health. So let me tell you exactly what's inside every scoop of Wild Belly. These probiotics are the most proven and the most primitive strains and they're proven to provide your dog with robust protection. These include Saccharomus bilardi, Lactobaculus acidophilus, Lactobaculus ramanomius, Bifidobacterium longum, Lactobaculus 
plantarium, bifidobacterium brevi, baculus subtilis, and lactobaculus. Here's a complete list of everything you'll find inside each serving of wild belly. As you can see, wild belly contains no fillers, no artificial ingredients, and no preservatives. Just a delicious bacon flavoured powder that goes to work right away to give your dogs the primitive protection they need to thrive. Most importantly, it gives you peace of mind since you never have to worry whether or not your dog is missing the wild factor that they need to stay healthy. Because with a healthy gut and digestive system, your dog will now be able to extract every last drop of nutrition from whatever they eat. By now, you're probably wondering how you can get your hands on Wild Belly. I don't want you to make the same mistakes many dog owners make by assuming they're giving their dogs everything they need. Remember, it's the most modern society that has the sickest dogs. I don't want to take any chance that you click off this page and lose out on seeing the amazing benefits you can get from Wild Belly. So here's what I'm going to do. If you just commit to trying Wild Belly today, you won't pay $89 or even $69 for an entire month's supply. Instead, you'll get it for just $49. A starter pack. $49 a bottle plus free US shipping. Best value pack. Working out at $33 per bottle plus free US shipping. Today only price, $198. Popular pack. Three bottles. Working out at $39 per bottle plus free US shipping. Today only price, $117. 90 day money back guarantee. This means you have a full three months to try Wild Belly risk free while watching your dog's health transform even before you've decided if it's right for them. And if it doesn't do everything I say it will, simply send an email to our support team at customer care at gettruecanine.com telling us that Wild Belly just wasn't right for you. When you do, we'll return every single dime of your investment, no questions asked. By the way, this email will be given to you on your order page, sent to you via email, and you'll find it on the label of every package you get from us. That way, you'll know exactly how to contact us from day one. Remember, this is an unconditional guarantee. What that means is that you won't be asked any questions, there won't be any hassle, and you don't have to prove anything. Just message us within three months of your order and you'll get every single dime of your investment back. This is our way of making this completely risk-free and taking all the pressure off you. I just want to help your dog and offering this generous guarantee makes it super easy for you to try Wild Belly.